All right, today we're gonna be rebuilding our world-class T5 transmission out of our Fox Body Mustang in the background. We're using it primarily for road course racing and we got the G-Force T5 upgrade kit here. As you can see, all the fancy hardware. And it's going into that transmission there. Full disclaimer, we've never done this before, have we, Dad? No. Nope. We uh, are upgrading our Fox Body Power Plant to a 393 Winter Stroker, and we're shooting for a little over 500 horsepower, so hoping that this T5 holds up for some road course racing this summer. We'll see. We figure this transmission has been rebuilt once before, <laughs> oh. judging by all the silicone on it. You can see where somebody's been into it before. But we haven't, so this is our first time. So we've got an updated kind of shift lever here. Pin it here. Boom, take that pin out. Don't lose that. There you go. Mm-hmm, your seal, your bearing surface. We'll tilt the transmission up because there's a set of roller bearings inside this input shaft and we, want, we don't want them falling down inside the case. So then we have to go fishing for them later and make sure that we get them all. Oh! <laughs> there's one. <laughs> The spring I was talking about. There's the ball, there's the spring for your detents. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's so, what it sits on. Yeah, and that's what gives you the feel when you're in the proper gear, in, in gear. And then this is the guy that actually does the shifting. It's or, your H pattern. Actually, yeah, there's your H pattern, and this is your, your guide there, so you can't get in the wrong. There it goes, now it's moving. Because that fits into a hole, you see. Oh, I see, yeah, it's got a recess, then it goes that's into a hole. Yeah, that's, yep. that pin holds it. It's all part of it. And there we have it. This one's right here. Yep. And our dowel pin. Mm hmm it's Locates it. Locates that case top. Yep, you betcha. Oh, I'll put some pressure on it. There we go. Okay. Now it'll lift off. Oh yeah. Shifting oh. forks. Yes, <laughs> shifting forks. The pads are in really nice shape. They probably were replaced. Yeah, this transmission's definitely been gone through. Mm -hmm. The meat and potatoes here. Oh yeah. You betcha. Pull that snap ring off, perfect. Okay, let's start caught again. There you go. There you go. And we can even leave all that together. Yep. I do believe that this gear should come right off. Fifth gear. Yeah, I Too big to fit inside the case, so they put it out exterior of the case. Yeah, well, they didn't have to build a whole other transmission. Okay, we got Torx slash hex yeah. bolts. Yeah, we'll get to them after. I think we'll pull the main shaft out first. That bearing out of there. Oh, oh it's a race. Or the bearing. And the bearing, yeah. Okay. Now I do believe. I think it should come up the top. Just walk this right out of here. Yeah. Just watch. Shift caught in there. Shift that in there. There we go. And just like that we have the Okay, lay that one here. This rod goes through the spring, by the way, so... I'll gently remove it, along with the rod. So there's, a, there's your reverse, and there's neutral. Like gears in reverse? Yeah. 
Mbappe. And then fold the right side. Mm -hmm. Doesn't spin nice? And no end play on this shaft, so that's good. Notice this is a retainer for holding, oh, yeah. make sure that shaft stays in. Then there should be a thrust washer under here. Oh yeah. I don't think that bearing has to come off before we get it to come out, but... Yeah, there we have. Oh, I guess this is. I guess it is out. Oh yeah. That was enough. Get it out. So here's what a G-Force T5 upgrade kit comes with. Yeah, let's have a look. That'll go there to there. This is a 26 spline input shaft. So we had to get a little different clutch disc for it. Okay. And there was the old coarse one. These are pretty sharp gears compared to this. Wow, look at the difference here. How sharp that's pointed. How much thicker and stronger those are. And then this. Again. It's a lot beefier. This gear here is especially a lot wider. Oh yeah, it's a lot more meat on it. Yeah. Wider this way than that. And way thicker teeth. You see the strength in this tooth compared to this. Mm-hmm. So we also have these gears that have to go on to. Yes. First gear, so what happens is the power comes in from the engine on the input shaft, transferred over to this larger gear here which then reduces it, comes across. Again, a very small gear driving a large gear. To reduce it again, that'll give you your first gear ratio. What happens is when you shift it into, then that becomes locked with the output shaft. That's gonna drive the output shaft, put it into neutral. That one just spins without the output shaft turn. First gear, this is the drive gear gear being driven. Second gear, and this is the one that usually takes a beating. Is, uh, and the same with your third gear. Comes down that way, now that gear becomes solid. These other ones, like I say, are still freewheeling. Next step, we gotta find a press and press all these old bearings and gears off and press all the new gears back on in order. Oh uh, yeah, that's working. Come on, little press. There you go. Bring in there yep. now or what? Yep, there's a snap ring right here. Okay. Well, there's this thrust washer. Okay. Only stretch them as far as necessary. That's right. Clean everything up anyway. Oh, and look what came with it. Oh, another, another, another thrust thr washer. Yeah, another underneath thin washer. There was a little spiral ring against the shaft, hard to see, but we were able to get it. One right. spiral lock. Yeah. Nice. Now that'll allow this assembly to come apart. Okay, now we really got the now, output shaft disassembled. Down. Other than the locking ring for the dogs. Which we'll just take right out. There we go. Comparing all the gears now and making sure all the uh, synchros kind of fit in the cones well and everything's looking good there. So the next step here is I am starting to polish the case up and just get rid of all the old silicone that was on it. All right, to start the reassembly, I'm going to put that front bearing cap and race assembly back in, cleaned up and everything. And we got some of this Loctite 620 to hold that in place. Mm -hmm. 
looks good. We're going to tap it into place. Looks Seems pretty even. Gently tap that bearing down using an inch and an eighth socket as our little. You're there. I felt it. Yep. That's why. Oh. Oh, that was tight. That was tight. There we go. Nice. Like that. Happy as a clam. Reverse gear will run right there and right there. This bearing is going to protrude some. There you go. She's in. Make sure that fits in there. Does. Like a glove? Like a glove. You betcha. Slap this on. Now we're going to put a couple screws in. Oh, wow. Wow. No, no end play, and that's what you want for a. This is perfect. Perfect first time. No end play and free running. Yeah, with just a little bit of drag because it's going to load up. Reverse shifting fork in and in, and the shaft goes through. There you go, get that roller right in there. There it Perfect. is. Perfect. One spring. <clears throat> on the reverse gear on the main shaft to start. And we gotta line up the uh, kind of detents into the openings. Tang again. Is it? Doesn't, not, like the tang is actually that. What it cares about is the windows with your locks. Your dogs there? Mm -hmm. That's all we got to really watch. Open those up. That we make There's sure no you line, in there. line those up. Oh, I see there's a tiny little groove there. You can't quite see it on the camera. Yeah, that's hard. One of the retaining locks. Oh, yeah. Tapered. That's those other ones that you take off with the spreader pliers. Right. Yeah. All right. Nice. Okay. Hey, we'll drop the second gear on. Yep. Okay, now you got a little spacer, right? Hey, okay, spacer's going on. Okay. Yep. You got, you drop that in? It's in. Okay. Drop that bearing down in there. The ends like this, he says. Ooh, snapped into place. Nice. Okay. Well, what? There we go. Let's take a bit. Lube it up. Lube it up. Look at that, eh? Right about there, eh? Yeah. All right, starting on the back side, the input output shaft. You betcha. Go in there, and I guess 
four tangs, it ain't gonna matter. There we go. There you go. Let's get the last part of that. Okay. Sitting flush. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Got our synchro rings in, locked in, then we've got our collar, and behind that was that little 316's ball and spring, and then that holds the collar from spinning, and then we've got this roller bearing set up, and next our gear. Everybody's happy. Rear race can go on. Kind of support the shaft a little better in the bearing. And that'll just tap right again. Got this baby coming together nicely. So there's uh, neutral. And first gear is back here. So there we go. That's first gear locked in. Second gear. First to second shift. Come on. Second gear. Out of second. Into third. That's third gear. Into fourth. One to one. Third to pursued. You can see that it has popped up. We got the top of the case on, ship forks in. I think we're happy with that. Yeah. Don't, don't mess with it too much. There you go. Yeah. And I even glued up the O ring real good there. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, there. So, you know, give me a hand trying to, whoops, line it. Just, uh, oh. There. Oh, how's our gear shifter? One last look at the input side. Yeah. So we put some silicone on that side, silicone on the case side, and now I'm sold. Nice. You believe? Oh yeah. That was tricky. We had to get that in as that shift rod was coming through. But we got it. All right, there you have it. One fully functional world-class T5 transmission with the G-Force gear upgrade kit in. All in all, I'd say this kit wasn't that difficult to put into the transmission. If you're a weekend warrior like myself and have a few tools, uh, I'd say it was actually not that bad to put in and I have no experience working on manual transmissions. This is my first one. So hopefully this video helps a little bit. Uh, apologies that we skipped over a couple of steps on the uh, assembly process, but uh, I'll definitely li add links to more descriptive videos in below. But for now, we got to throw this back in the road course car and get it ready for race season. Later.